Today, you'll learn how to do keyword research for real estate agents using keywords everywhere so you can attract more people to your website so you can turn them into leads, sell more properties, and get more listings. So let's get started. Okay, when it comes to doing keyword research for realtors, you want to start your keyword research knowing two things. Okay, the first thing is what type of property um, you are looking to sell. Maybe you are wanting to sell property, right? Uh, what is that type of property you want to sell? Is it a condo? Is it a single family home, a rental, a townhome? Uh, make sure you have that set and also figure out what location your property is in or what location you want to rank for, right? So with real estate, as you know, it's very location-based. So make sure you figure out the location you want your website to rank for or where you want to get most of your traffic from, okay? So in this example here, I have condo for sale, Los Angeles. So let's just say I'm a realtor and I'm trying to uh, sell condos in the LA area. So my seed keyword would be something like condo for sale, Los Angeles, right? Or if I'm selling a single family home, I could probably say single family home for sale in Los Angeles, so on and so forth, right? So this is kind of where you would start. Okay, this would be your main head term or your seed keyword. Uh, the volume is a little over 4,000 per month. Now, I'm getting this data from Keywords Everywhere. So to do your keyword research, um, make sure you have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed, turned on, and make sure you purchase credits as well so you can access that keyword level data. All right, so... You can see the SEO difficulty is 67 out of 100, which is on the higher end. Uh, that basically means the higher SEO difficulty score means that it is more difficult. Okay, so kind of for sale in Los Angeles is a difficult term, as you could see in terms of the domains that are ranking. Uh, Zillow, Realtor, Trulia, right? So these are big players in the market. Uh, but let's just see what additional keywords we can uh, look into, right? Uh, there is related keywords here on the right. So these are the related keywords with my seed term, condo for sale, Los Angeles. So house for sale, uh, let's see, condos for sale, Los Angeles County. Right, so that's something to kind of note. Uh, people are typing in the county where they want to purchase condos, um, the type of condo, so new condos, uh, luxury condos, as you see here, studio condos. So this related keywords gives you some really good insight into the additional types of uh, keyword phrases that, that you may potentially want to target on your website. People also search for also gives you keywords that people are searching for, right? So uh, even in the dropdown as well, so these are recommended keywords here uh, from Google that that might be possible, uh, that might be relevant for you. You could see the search terms, uh, the average cost per click, the competition score, and the trend over the past 12 months. And with long tail keywords, I like to focus on this card right here because these long tail keywords are really the keywords that are a little bit more detailed. Uh, these keywords are three or more words in length. And if you have a new website, if you are not you know, if you maybe don't want to have your listing show up on Zillow or you want to have your own website uh, show up for these exclusive properties that you sell, you want to make sure you're focusing on looking at the long tail keyword to see what um, less competitive keywords you can potentially uh, focus on for your own website so it can rank as high as possible. Okay, so Aside for condos for sale Los Angeles that has over 4,000 search volume, cost per click is relatively high, right, as you see here. Uh, maybe you wanna think about where in Los Angeles. Is it downtown, right? Uh, let's see, Los Angeles County. Okay, the volume is a little less, but that's still very good. And the uh, Google ad competition is 
uh, still up there, but not as high for some of these keywords, okay? And another thing that you can note is the type of condo, like I mentioned earlier, luxury condo. Is it a luxury condo, new condo, uh, maybe affordable condo could be one, two, even in terms of the number of bedrooms. So if your condo has three, four, five bedrooms, you want to signify that in your page on your website. So you can see people are typing in two bedroom condo for sale, Los Angeles. So that gives you a lot of insight into what types of condos people are searching for, even the zip code as well. So wherever your property is, you want to target the zip code as well because people are searching for the zip code and even other neighborhoods in your city. So looking at this long tail keywords list will give you a lot of insight into how people are searching, okay? And for a deeper dive, you can even click on this button right here, find long tail keywords for your term, and this report will, will show up. Now, one thing to note with keywords everywhere is that uh, you do need credits to access all of this data, and this data is reflective of your country as you see here right now i have it set as the united states but depending on what country you are from you can select the available country right here or select global i'm going to keep it as the united states so keywords everywhere found close to 100 keywords for condo for sale los angeles so now you can go and dive even deeper and see what are relevant keywords you want to focus on that are less competitive right? So you can go through here, not only less competitive, but more descriptive. And the more descriptive you have your keyword, the better uh, buyer you may want, you may be attracting, right? You don't want to attract a buyer that is looking for, you know, only a one bedroom apartment. You want to attract buyers that are looking for maybe uh, two bedrooms, so on and so forth. So the more descriptive your keyword is, the better to find that that lead, that buyer that is is going to purchase your property. So you can go through here, uh, you know, even you can see here, condos for sale Los Angeles under 200K. So this could be also another way you can figure out uh, what to add as your, as your main keyword. So this one could be a good one, right? So go through here, find ones that are relevant for you, and even look at the cost per click and the competition too. So you may not be uh, uh, purchasing Google ads, but you can see where the money is, is going for these keywords, right? So a lot of advertisers are spending quite a bit for new condo for sale Los Angeles, right? The average cost per click is a little over $2. So the competition is pretty high. So you can decide whether or not this keyword is something that you want to uh, rank for organically, or maybe if you want to run Google ads, you can look at this list and see which are the keywords that are maybe more affordable for you to bid on, okay? And uh, you can also click on this strict exact match. I also like to look at this to look for only the keyword phrases that have this phrase condo for sale Los Angeles in them so I can more pinpoint what keyword modifiers I may want to look into, right? So it's a little bit more strict in the keywords that it suggests. So you could go through here, two bedroom condo, right? So that could be a keyword you want to target two bed, two bath condo, as you see here, could be a, a really good one as well. But if you uncheck it, it becomes a little bit more broad and it gives you more ideas, okay? And then whether or not you select these as stars, you can select these as stars and then um, go to your favorites right here and then you can export the list as you wish. And you can export this whole list here by clicking any of these buttons. And another thing you can do when it comes to keyword research is looking at your competitors, right? So I would skip these big players here and scroll down and look for those niche, uh, those niche realtors that only focus on you know particular area, particular city, right? So I was going through here and uh, this one luxury condos for sale in Los Angeles. You know this website looks like more of a a niche website and. What you can do is see what kind of keywords this competitor is ranking for. Okay, so if you click on the Keywords Everywhere extension, click on Organic Ranking Keywords for this URL, you can see the keywords that this URL is ranking for. 
Okay, so a great way to uh, compete with your competition is to uh, look at what keywords they are ranking for, and that will give you a list, and you can try to optimize your website so you can outrank them. All right, so this is a great way to do competitive analysis, to spy on your competition, see what they are ranking for, and use this list as your, your, um, your kickoff point, right? So this particular page has eight keywords that it's ranking for, and they're ranking pretty high for some of them, right? So um, like luxury condo California, luxury condos in California, high-rise condos for sale Los Angeles, Okay, so they're ranking okay for, for some of these terms. So I would go through and visit your main competitors, click on the extension, and try to look at the keywords that they're ranking for. You could even look for the whole domain as well, right? So aside from that specific page that's ranking, maybe you have a competitor in mind, you could just visit their website. And when you visit their website, you could click on the extension and just see overall what that domain is ranking for, right? So this particular uh, domain is ranking for, uh, let's see, for you know at least 5,000 keywords. So this will give you a really good idea of what additional keywords they are, are trying to target, what, what kind of content they have. And then you could use this list to create new pages to optimize your listings on your website to out, outrank them and, and capture more, more visits, um, capture more leads, and potentially find a, a really good buyer for for, for your property. So this is the way you can do keyword research. Um, very quick and easy way to do keyword research for realtors. Um, hopefully you thought this video was helpful. And with that said, we will see you in the next video. All right, hopefully you got some value out of this video. Please let us know if you did by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and if you wanna learn more about keywords everywhere, how to do keyword research, feel free to click any of the videos on the screen. Thank you, and we will see you in the next video.